Before moving to the subpoena authorization, we consider the nominees. First is Judge Mustafa Kashubai, nominated to the U.S. District Court for the District of Oregon. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Chairman, are we going to have an opportunity to speak on the nominees? Yes, we're going to. Oh, I'm sorry. We already had done that uh, at great length. Well, I think um, this deserves some commentary, um, given the nature of the nominee, and uh, I'd like to ask to speak on the nomination. Senator, we've debated these two nominees twice. Mr. Chairman, I would also like to speak on the nomination. I, I understand what you'd like to do, but I'm saying that in fairness, we have debated these nominees twice, and I ask the clerk to call the roll. I'm Mr. Chairman, Mr. you're Chairman. denying us an All right. opportunity to Mr. speak Come on, on a nominee. Man. I mean, third time no. Okay, do this. So Just we don't do have it. a right to speak under the rules? Under the third uh, the third time, I'd say no. So you're, so you're just going to make it up? So you, yeah. I'd like There's going to be a lot to, of consequences like coming here. Too, Mr. You're going to have a lot of consequences coming if you go down this road. You better I've believe cautioned it. You, I've cautioned a lot of you. The clerk will call the roll. Listen to me. I've cautioned a lot of you. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, don't we get the opportunity to speak? We're in a roll call. So you're even, telling even us to shut up? Member, even though multiple you members have asked to speak? You want us to shut up? Is that what you're saying? A lot of people didn't speak on the two nominees before. We've done. I would you raise your hand if you did not speak? I did uh, not have a chance. Okay. Senator Corn didn't even have a chance to speak. Senator Blackburn had a chance to speak. We've got several folks, Mr. Chairman, who didn't have a chance to speak. We want to tell you again why these nominees are awful. Mr. Wells. Or in Senator Corn's case, tell you for the first time. You're just going to sit there and ignore us? Senator Blackburn, have you spoken on these nominees? I've not had the opportunity like to? to speak. I would like very much to speak on Mr. Casabai. I urge you to let Senator Blackburn speak. Senator Corden as well. Senator Corden hasn't had a chance to speak. That's correct. Point of order, Mr. Chairman, you, you can't limit debate without invoking Rule 4. You haven't done that. We have debated. We, we've, de we've debated on prior occasions when we didn't have a quorum. That vote didn't count. We've got people who are here now who weren't here then who would like to speak. Can we speak on the other nominees? Or is, your, or is your plan just to end all debate today? Is your plan to end all debate? Do you have an answer? You're going to rely on someone whispering in your ear. What's your plan? No. No, that, no we're not. We're, you can, yeah, okay, listen, here's the deal. We worked seven weeks to try to solution the asylum problems. You boycotted the committee. Mr. Cruz. Mr. Mr. Chairman, I, I don't know if you've left us any alternative but to deny the committee a quorum. Mr. Cotton. I think that's something we ought to seriously I tell consider. You what, Mr. You Cotton says the chairman needs to rethink his decision yeah, and let I, Senator Corn and Senator Blackford speak. That's what Mr. Cotton says. You, you mark that down as my vote. Yeah, and everybody think, over there who's not willing to look at me or look at Dick Durbin needs to think about it as well. Kennedy. I want to speak. Mr. Tillis. Mr. Kennedy wants to speak as well. Mark Mr. Cotton now saying Mr. Kennedy needs to speak too. Mr. Tillis. I'm waiting to be heard on the nominee. I've requested several times to be heard on the nominee. No, I guess Senator Durbin is not going to allow women to speak either. I thought that was sacrosanct in your party. Senator Durbin. Aye. Senator Durbin, on this vote, the ayes are 11. The nomination will be favorably reported to the floor. Up next is Judge Yumi Lee, nominated to the U.S. District Court for the no Mr. Who, Chairman, who, you who just has not been allowed to speak on that nomination? Mr. Chairman, you just destroyed yeah. one of the most important committees in the United States Senate. The chair would and you've set a precedent the chair which will be repeated. Every time one party or the other takes advantage and takes the low road, the chair will note it sets a precedent that will then be become the norm. Congratulations Yumi. on destroying the United States Senate Judiciary Committee. Up next is Judge Yumi Lee, nominated to the U.S. District Court for the Northern Who District Who has not of spoken on this nominee? Clerk will call the roll. Will you raise your hand? Look at all these people have never said a word before you make them vote. Never said a word before you make them vote. Just going along with it. Just going along with it. 
You know, Mr. when Coons we were in the majority, said he would allow members to speak. Uh, Mr. Chairman, when we were in the majority, we allowed Democrats to speak ad nauseum, at, at great length. We, this was, we never did this. Both of these nominees have had two opportunities for speeches by members. Mr. You have to bring them up again. It wasn't our fault, it's your fault. Going right along with it. Mr. Chairman, I hope you're proud of yourself. Is this guy talking to the government chairman? Yeah, you really have. I don't know what drives this, Dick. I really don't. Mr. Chairman, is it you driving it, or is it your staff yeah, is driving Joe's it, Zogby or is it the this White House or is it you? driving this? This is completely inappropriate not to let us be heard on these nominations, and you know that. Your own members have told you to let, it, let them speak. This is a complete disgrace. And maybe you can share I with see us. my colleagues over here who understand what goes around comes around. Yeah, I mean, this is so unnecessary to <coughs> ruin the committee over a political exercise that's going nowhere. Senator Whitehouse. I, I, I would like to, was my name called? I can't hear. Where's that voice? Was, he, was he recognized to speak? We're on a roll call. Ma'am? I'd like to speak, please. We're on a roll call. I'm waiting to be heard on the nominations. Is this an illegal vote? So now Joe Zogby is going to dictate to other senators how they're going to vote? On this vote, the ayes are 10. The nomination will be favorably reported. We now turn to nominations that have not been debated before the committee, and the committee is open. Mr. Chairman.